Now in the 60s, there was a plastic surgeon called uh, Maxwell Maltz, and he realized that for every maybe 50 plastic surge surgeries that he did, maybe two people would say, I don't see the change. And he would say, but your nose is no longer the same. And they said, no, my nose is still the same. And he could not get it. How could people have a surgery that would change their physical features, yet when they looked at themselves, they didn't see the change? And that started what we call, what we now call self-image psychology. Because what he began to realize is that if the self-concept did not change, then people could not see the physical changes. That's something else, right? But what we have learned from that is that the way we see ourselves tends to sometimes be obsolete.